starting process is a, a strong community. And I don't mean that in a community of, uh, of customers. Um, it was a community of, of personal friendships that I had with all of these people. Uh, I, like I said, I spent hours every night after I got home from work just sitting on my phone, talking to people, communicating with them, and, and building these, these friendships and these relationships. Uh, I think the biggest reason Mextrus had such a success from the get-go was I never treated my Instagram as a means that the people I follow as customers, as potential customers, as, some, as people who are going to invest in me, but rather I was investing my time in them. I was really focused on what they were doing. Uh, even outside of before Mextrus launched, I, I really cared of what they were doing. I would collaborate with these people. We would edit images together and it was, it was really a focus and on a strong friendship and a, a community shouldn't be a customer. It should really be a, a bond of friendship between uh, yourself as a business. And at that time it was just me as a person and, and that other person that's in your community. All right. So right from the get go, really, uh, well, pre launch before you've even launched the product, uh, you've been building relationships on Instagram with the potential customers of your, your soon to launch product. And, and it sounds like not just um, you know, a relationship, but deep relationship, like you were real friends with, with these people and you'd built the trust, the credibility with them so that when you did launch, they would, you know, maybe you've heard about it, maybe discussed it with you or talked to you about it. They knew you uh, and were able to then, you know, grab and, and use the, the product straight away. What kind of happened uh, from, from those uh, relationships or what's kind of like that, that next step? So once, once I had those relationships, those, those people came to bat for me. When I launched this, it wasn't, it wasn't me going out to them and saying, hey, check out this new product that I came out with. It was me just putting it out there and them going, whoa, this is cool. I want to support Merrick. It's not so much that I, oh, I want to support Mextures. It was a personal connection with them. And I, I think if I would have done it a different way, if I would have gone out and just started spamming people and being like, oh, hey, check this out, check this out, check this out, I, I don't think it would have had the success. But rather, I, I launched the product on my, my Instagram and then – I was just soaking up every time somebody posted a picture. It was, it was the greatest thing ever for me. And I would go and I would comment on that and I was refreshing that Mextures hashtag nonstop because it, it was this connection that I was having with people. And I hadn't really experienced that before with, with my network with photography was pretty much based here in Arizona. And all of a sudden I had people in Europe using these textures and people in, in Canada and across the world. And that became addicting uh, in a sense, not to grow mixtures, but to build these connections all across the world. I, I think anybody who starts a business gets that addiction, gets that hunger where they're, where they're spreading themselves across the world and building these friendships. And, and that, that becomes really, really addicting. I think that was a great part of it. And because I was so invested in my time and it wasn't that I was ignoring these people, they wanted to share it. And, and I think I should have knocked the product and be like, this is why it, it did so well. I, I personally believe they were really good textures too. And it was something new that uh, was different than the kind of stagnant direction that I felt that photography and editing on your iPhone had gone in that time.